Immortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. I've had a hankering to play this. We're going to fire back into this game, and I forgot to stick YouTube chat in the corner. Jesus, that is embarrassing. Oh no. Okay, we'll pop this one out. Copy. Close. I've got a different chat now for the retro games so that I can size it differently. There we go. Done. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, back into the super, uh, supermarket simulator, Kirksner. Okay, so where were we last time? I think in the last episode, we were kind of in a bit of a weird spot, right? Because we weren't really earning a lot of money necessarily, but what we were doing is uh, kind of getting through the game. I'm also going to change the title on the YouTube stream. Um, simulating minimum wage. Good. And also this game is called Supermarket Sim. You later. Done. All right. Now we can get into the game. So, yeah, I, I don't remember where we left off. I'm pretty sure we got our second restocking monkey and we didn't necessarily get too far other than that. So as soon as we fire... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just standing here as well. <laughs> okay, I don't know what we were doing, but I I don't care. But let's just run this place, huh? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> what a sign. What a thing to invest money in, huh? It's kind of like our countdown have been rebranding themselves. All right, what have we got scattered all over the road? This is spaghetti. Nice. Do we not have any room? Probably not, actually. Okay, so these guys are not doing anything. We'll see if they've kind of like given up or something, because maybe they have actually given up. Uh, hiring. No, they are apparently still working. It doesn't actually look like they are. We have 200 bucks in our pocket, which is pretty good. So I remember last time we were kind of like stuck in a lot of debt and we kind of fixed that issue. This area is kind of barren though. That's right, we were selling meats, weren't we? We were selling lots and lots of fine artisanal meats. Well, of all the things you could buy, lady, you buy the yogurt. Get out of my store. Have a piss off day. What a dick. Okay, these two are actually coming in here to do their jobs. That's unexpected. So we probably want to take a look at the market. We probably want to add some sushi to our cart because if we don't stock it, we don't sell it. It's going to be 400 bucks. We do have to wait a little bit of time. That's absolutely fine. We probably want to uh, maybe decorate this place a little bit better as well. I know we've been kind of frugal with our money so that we don't collapse into bankruptcy and obscurity, but we are kind of... Oh, apparently the Basmati is too expensive. Do we want to change that? Yeah, probably. Let's change it to $6.50 so that we make $3.30. It's still pretty good. We probably just want to uh, manage this place and then get a couple of decorations. We haven't necessarily been going into the decorations simply because there's no need to do so ever. Uh, we should probably also take a look at our bills, right? Oh, we're about to make enough sales to get the sushis, which is going to give us lots and lots of money. Why is this here? Is there, like, not a shelf for it or something? I mean, it's a big one. May Actually, that's a hard one to restock. Maybe we should be sticking this one down here. Doesn't stack very well, though, so maybe not. Maybe we just kind of, like, leave it here? Yeah, let's put the pastas there. In fact, we should probably add a few of them to the order as well. White box pasta. What are we looking at? Nothing, it seems. Where is the white box pasta? There it is. We'll get another... We'll get three. And now we need 500 bucks for this order. How far away from that? Actually, not so bad. Seriously, man? What are you holding? Chalk pick cereal. Okay. What a twit. Uh, we've actually got exactly what we need now. 498 bucks. That should cover the cost. Let's go ahead and buy this order right here. And our restocking monkey should realistically... Stand there like an idiot and not do anything. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm going to put this one in here so that our restock monkeys do stick in the right places. Or we could do it ourselves. That's also a good use of our time. Stick that one there. These are hard to restock. So we're going to stick all of these all over the place. There and there. This is sushi. I'm going to just throw that next to the fruit. Where'd it go? Oh, I think this guy just picked it up from a distance. I thought it, th it flew through the map, which would have sucked because that would have been like 300 bucks just down the drain. All right, this guy's picking up some steaks, and we also need some chops, too. Steaks and chops. We can get those. Steaks and chops. We'll get both of those things right now. Steaks, we'll get uh, maybe one of them, and chops, veal chops, we'll get one of those, too. That's still going to be a lot of money, probably about around about 600 buckery booze, so 
We'll wait a little bit before we go ahead and set that order. What else are we doing? We're pretty well stocked for everything. We aren't, we don't have any powdered sugar either. So we'll get six boxes, four boxes of that, not six. Powdered sugar, right at the top here. Four boxes, done. Because I don't think it stacks very well. Hello there, Faison Natipicorn. I was, uh, and sorry, my dyslexia played up on me a little bit. I hope I didn't absolutely ruin your name. We also got some Supreme Flour right here. We'll go ahead and try and restock this. And why is it not on the shelf? Is my next immediate concern. Ah, because it won't fit. That sucks. There's three in a box here. Wow. All right, I'm just going to throw that in the corner over here. And that can be the monkey's problem. All right, what are these guys buying? What was that? 122 bucks. Nice. I'm Ty, so my name could be hard to say. Oh, I, I've actually got Thai uh, family now. I've got some family that just married into my family from the Philippines and Thailand. Cool, huh? God, I'm kind of jealous of your country, actually. It's always warm. Uh, here in my country, it's always wet. New Zealand's always wet, and that's probably not too different from the from Thailand. But at the same time, it's cold as hell as well, so everything's frozen. Okay, we've got it. We can now get the meats, which is going to massively inflate our turnover. Good. Let's order this bad boy right here. Done. We've got 18 bucks left. That's absolutely fine. Hello there, Taylor Swift. Hope you're having a nice day. What do we got? We got meats, we got beefs, we got veals, we got chops. Go ahead and throw these over here because we are going to be the ones restocking it, apparently. Oh, apparently sushi's too expensive. Well, welcome to every country that's not New Zealand. Sushi's really cheap here. That's something that I've found a lot of internationals come to New Zealand and they absolutely love. They love the prices of all of our, all of our sushi. Because you can get a good bento for about 15 bucks at a restaurant. Bento being a, a lunch kind of size snack. Okay, what are these guys doing? They are shifting whatever this is, which is powdered sugar. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restock this entire shelf right here. And hopefully the restocking monkey isn't going to be too pissed off with that. Racks are full. Seriously, how many are you holding? Three boxes of cereal. That's annoying. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw this in here. We'll turn that light on so I can see what I'm doing. Where the sugar at? Right there. Okay. Put that up there. Excellent. Okay, now that light is on. we got to turn this light on as well so we can see what we're doing. Looks like people really like these meats. These artisanal meats. Oh, frozen yogurt's too expensive, poor baby. Oh, well. Crimea River. Good. What else we got? This guy is getting lots and lots of sushi. And some salmon. This guy's a money bags right here. We are massively inflating our sales, though, with all of the price of this thing. This is going to be a $120 shop. That is insane. Although, good. That's really good. What else we got? The sushi is selling out like crazy. We probably want to get a good three boxes of sushi just in backlog. Although, that's going to be really expensive, so maybe we don't want to do that just yet. However, if we run out of it, then we aren't making any money because we can't sell it. Oh, this is the salmon guy. What else is he getting? No, 100 bucks worth? Nice. He couldn't find candy. Sorry, man. It bugs out the game. Imagine trying to explain that to a customer. Sorry. Sorry, can't have it. it. It ruins reality. It breaks reality. That's the Cthulhu candy. Couldn't find milk? That's a good point, actually. I don't think we've stocked milk for a wee while. Uh, what else we got in here? Probably we should be stocking the essentials, like eggs and milk as well, inside of those fridges. Let's just go ahead and add them to a cart. Eggs and fr milk. Eggs. We'll get two of them so we can put them on a rack somewhere. And we also need two milks. Pretty sure we've got a rack for milk somewhere. Yep, got a rack for milk. We got a bunch of milks, actually. It doesn't cost that much. We get another... I don't know. Five. We'll get five milks and we'll also get, like, three more eggs. That'll make it five on each end. And we can probably go without the sushi just for now. The day is over. This lady's only getting coffee. I'm going to wait for her to buy it and then piss off. Excellent. Nice. Okay, what have we got? 569 bucks. Love it. Okay. So if we go into the market, we can actually afford this now. Uh, I am getting a phone call. I'm going to go ahead and buy all of this. And then I'm going to take this phone call because it's going to be important. Okay. So where are we at now? Like I can talk about it more if anybody wants to hear about it. But chances are people are not really interested in hearing about the logistics of banks breaking laws so much as uh, they're here for gameplay of Supermarket Simulator. 
Uh, we probably need to get ourselves some more restocking stuff, right? It looks like our shelves are pretty well stocked. We don't need to really re-up on anything other than these lapipides. We'll get a bunch of these. How much money we got? 300 bucks? That's fine. Okay, we'll get some of these pipides. We'll get five boxes of them. Four boxes are fine, actually. Let's just get four boxes. Done. How crazy? I know, it's, it's pretty nasty. She's got a stress-related condition. Uh, there's a virus called shingles. You usually get it when you're really, really old, and it kind of, like, shuts your body down. Um, it's not great. It's not great. She got this a couple of years ago from, again, stress-related jobs, and she got this job at the bank because it wasn't supposed to be stress-related, and now um, she's kind of like the only person who's supposed to be there who's a senior consultant, which is, which is not good for an entire branch. That is a, a big bad thing. Very, very bad. And it keeps stimulating all of the shingles. She's having these flare-ups again, which is not good. So uh, we're taking her health really seriously at this point. And uh, we're, we're trying to kind of like create these plans for her. But the plan last time was to uh, say to the union rep, hey, they committed medical discrimination. Can you sit in with this meeting in case they do it again? And then they did it again. So... This is all worst case scenario, by the way, and now it's looking like uh, it might actually go to court over this. Hi, I'm back. Hello there, Faison. Is that right? Or Fasin? Is Kixon not here? No idea. You might respond. Okay. Looks like everybody's checking out, including Yinset. Uh We're out of coffee. We need lots and lots of coffee. We've got another 300 bucks again. Let's go ahead and get some coffee again. It's probably right at the top of this list here. So, there's a couple of things that I probably do not like about this game, necessarily. And that's the lack of a minimum storage unit. I still don't like the cap of 10 items to be bought on the street, because there is going to be a point at which we need to buy more than 10 loads of something at a time. And going in and out of those menus as a gameplay loop is just dull as hell. Uh, it looks like the restocking monkeys are actually doing exactly what we want them to do. Where is the milk? Ah, we got too much milk. Oh, that's right. We're not stocking milk, so we're not selling milk. We'll go ahead and put the milk in here. We need more of that salmon as well. And we'll go ahead and stock the eggs as well. Don't know where they put the eggs, actually. Where have they put the eggs? Out of sugar. That's Marty. Le pipite. Where are the eggs at? There they are. Good. We'll take a box of these and we'll stick it on this shelf right here. There is a reason we're only putting them on one shelf. It bugs out the AI if we don't. Ah. <sighs> Okay, the coffee's going in. Excellent. We're not really getting low on anything else either. Okay, it looks like we've actually got a good workflow, it seems. We've got a bit more salt. We've only got two boxes of flour left. Hilariously, there's one box of flour in each of these boxes on the shelf here. That is a brain dead decision. I don't know why these restockers are so stupid. Yeah, that's probably another thing that I would point out in this game, is that the AI is not phenomenal. Okay, that's fine. We've got one bag of pasta as well, so we'll get two boxes of that right now. Where is it? Right here. Two boxes. Done. Bought. Okay. So we can probably start stocking other articles at this point. Probably we'll just get some more pasta. Or we did. Yeah, no, we just did. We'll actually get another two boxes of that, in fact, because we've got two more racks to hold them on. Good. That's 17 bucks down the hole. And they're stacked nicely for once. The hell? Who did this? What? Weird. No, my dad is going to get the milk here now. Won't see him in a year. Oh, no, he's not getting the milk here, uh, my dude. This is this is a famous store. This is a famous store. No one's getting milk here. I think your dad actually may have just lied to you and left. I mean, I, I hate to be the one to say it, but I, I think he may have actually just lied and left. Which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, <laughs> if it happens early, you can kind of, like, compensate for it at least. It's worse when it happens when you're a teenager. Uh, we probably need to get more of the meats now, too, don't we? Because they're running a little bit low. We don't have any of the beef or veal, and we are run out completely of salmon and the other packaged meals. Let's go ahead and just buy a bunch. Steak, uh, scallops, get a couple of boxes of that. Salmon, two boxes of that. Musaka, two boxes. And the veal chops, boom. Done. Okay, that's going to cost us lots. We don't have that much money. But we will very, very shortly if people keep on buying our meats. What's this guy buying? 21? Oh, why are you buying any meat, my dude? What a dick. Why is your store named Piss Off? Uh, it's marketing. That's, that's our thing. That's our thing. It's, you know, someone walks in here, it sets the tone. 
I like to uh, verbally abuse some of our customers. Hello there, lady. Would you like to piss off? <laughs> I love doing it. I love verbally ab abusing people in my, in my supermarket because it's my supermarket and I can do it. And if they don't like it, they can just leave. They can piss off, so to speak. Okay, good. This guy is spending quite a bit of money. Thank you, sir. Piss off. Good. Uh, we've got the black hole lady in here, the one that doesn't reflect any light for any any reason whatsoever. She's buying a lot of muffins. Jesus, lady, there's five cases of muffins. Why? Oh, basmati rice is too expensive. Is it actually? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, we'll drop that down to like $6.20 at the moment. And then the next person hopefully has a, a better wallet. What else is too expensive? There's no way that sushi's too expensive. Oh, we're completely out of the sushi as well. Uh, we can almost afford our big load. And we didn't even get any sushi, I don't think. Yeah, we didn't get any sushi. So this is going to be 1,300 buckery booze. Congratulations on 1K subscribers. Thank you so much, Z30. I, I got a screenshot of it. I cannot believe I actually got a screenshot of it, but I got a screenshot of it. So uh, there's going to be like a 1,000 subscriber special coming out soon. And it's not going to be one of those crap Q&As that most YouTubers use. It's, act it's actually going to be a decent thing that is worth watching. Because usually it's like, oh, we've hit 1,000 subs. I'll answer five questions from you guys and no more. Where did you grow up? Oh, yeah, here's my hometown. No one wants to hear that crap. No one wants to hear that kind of stuff. How big's your poo? That was actually a question that was asked to Epic Flying Horse in one of his subscriber specials. I think it was a 6K sub special. Lazy. He's a good friend of mine, but... <laughs> lazy. <laughs> very lazy. Oh, this guy's buying a bunch of sushi. 70 bucks? Thank you very much. Piss off. Excellent. Uh, Stone Cold Skinny Steve Austin is now leaving the store. Excellent. He can piss off for all I care. This guy's kind of new. The opposing side of his vest doesn't have any textures on it. It's weird. Very weird. And we've got Barack Obama over here buying something. A lot of cereal at night and pasta. That's strange. I'm just so hyped that you made it. Yeah, me too. Looking forward to that next 9K so you can make it to 10K. Do I support Skibbity Toilet? Uh, no. No, I do not. I will not give them a dime of my money. And the reason for that is not because, like, I don't like Skibbity Toilet. I couldn't care less about Skibbity Toilet. It's not something I give two hoots about. What I do care about is whether or not they're sponsoring me. And they're not sponsoring me. So do not go and support Skibbity Toilet. Until they sponsor me, they are dead to this channel. Okay? Okay? Am I clear on that? <laughs> we, we all understand where I stand on the, on the Skibbity Toilet sponsorship thing? God, I hope I never get an email saying, please sponsor, please sponsor you. That would be such a nightmare if, if the Skibbities actually came after me. Why is this guy still holding boxes of milk? Dude, that is not worth your time! Stop it! What a dick. All right, uh, so we're out of sushi. We're out of all of these pretty much essential foods. That's right, because we can't afford it. Do we have anywhere to put this pasta? No. Can we stock it on the shelf? I don't know. Where are we putting these? Where's the pasta? Probably on this one, right? Because it's closest to the store entrance? Or maybe not. The hell is the pasta? I'll put it down here because we are going to need it uh, handy pretty frequently. We're also going to need six crates of peanut butter as well because we're out of that. But we should get our meats first. I feel like we should get our meats first. Oh, that's right. We need to open the store. My God, I can't remember. I still forget that. I'm st I still kind of have the adrenaline shakes from Insane Aquarium. What a hideous game. Okay, I wonder why this guy won't drop anything. All right, at least our salt is being replenished. We are getting low on peanut butter. Barack Obama is walking past. Hello there, lady. Ah, it's the tramp stamp lady. Good. Are you getting some oil? That's got nothing to do with the tramp stamp, does it? Three bottles of oil? Who needs three bottles of oil at once? And some milk? I don't know why, but I feel like this lady's buying innuendos. Okay, I can't make an innuendo out of crispy, chibi cereal. There's nothing I can make. No. We're Payday 2 video. PD2? Payday 2? PD2? Payday 2? Video? Huh? If you're asking whether I play Payday 2, I do. I've got like, I've got a billion mods as well. And half of them don't exist anymore. Like the Hollywood shootout mod. That one just massively inflates the amount of particles that just fly out the front of your gun every time you fire the weapon. 
So there's this big flash and it actually looks good to fire a gun. It feels good. I put it on there because I do a lot of stealth. I'm a, I'm a solo stealth man in Payday 2. That's what I do. That's what I do. In fact, I actually got this um, mask. Just down here. Ah, so that I could play Payday 2. Right here. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that mask? I'll give you, I'll give you a little taste. I used to stream, and uh, when I was playing Payday 2, I'd put this on every time we went loud, so... You know, just so, so everybody knows that we were actually, like, robbing a bank or something. There's four people watching. Uh, literally nobody cares about the, uh, the watch account, my dude. Everything's going to tick on as it does. If you are looking for a streamer who only basically... Uh, wants to pile people into a stream just for the sake of having people in a stream, it's probably going to be a low-quality stream, right? It blends in with the wall? No, it doesn't. It's green. You not see this. It's green. True? Yeah, exactly. I like quality. I prefer quality over quantity. This tells the music a little bit. <laughs> Good. All right, how are we all today? I'm actually doing pretty good, retrospectively. Like, I've had a, um... I had the bad news from getting said, but ultimately, the thousand subscribers thing is so fantastic. Although now I have to do more chores, because now I have to figure out exactly how the whole AdSense thing works. Because the reason people want a thousand subscribers is because you get ad revenue from videos. And my videos are super long, so people aren't necessarily watching them unless they're like... Doing, doing their jobs and they just have it on the background, which is fair enough, honestly. I'd probably do the same thing with a lot of other streamers, like Sips. I'm kind of like Sips, but hot. Okay, we'll go into the market, and can we afford this? Almost. We need another, like, 50 bucks, I think. No? 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 What do you mean, no? Okay, this guy's getting a lot of la pipites and uh, Suzu boxes. That is, I'm pretty sure, powdered sugar. Oh, the SEO is short for sugar, so it's like sugar sugar. It's not like normal sugar, it's, just, it's doubled sugar. A dense carbohydrate, which would technically be an alcohol. Oh my god, there's clipping textures on this? What the hell? Why? Why is when this moves, I move? Why is there clipping on this? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you even program that in? I bet there's clipping on these as well. That's silly. I don't know why that would be the case whatsoever. Maybe so that you can't just, like, throw boxes into the racks. But still, who would care? Who would actually care that much? All right, we've got both of our monkeys out here. Perfect. We can actually afford our gigantic meat order now, which is just wonderful. We'll do that right this second before we forget. Because I do have memory issues. Oh, my God. I don't even remember if I took my memory medication this morning. I'm going to do it just in case I didn't. What's too expensive? The veal chops. Well, I couldn't care less, to be honest. Take a look at this shop floor right here. We could probably do with customizing the layout of this place. Uh, I don't really like these yellow wallpapers. We should probably go with a nice color scheme, like the one we've got on the sign outside, perhaps uh, lime green and magenta. That'd be nice. Have you heard of Gun Up? No, I've never heard of it. Is that like a YouTube channel or is it a, is it a drink of some sort? Because I know 7up. I know about 7up. We definitely have that here in New Zealand. There we go. Memory on a pill. A little bit of a medication mukbang for you all. This guy's getting a lot of masaka. I'm pretty sure that's like, there's like TV dinners. Or like lasagna or something like that. It's kind of hard to tell at this distance. It's on the, the bottom of that shelf right there. It's a game? No, I've never heard of it. Although in saying that, somebody recommended to me, I think it was you, in Sound Mind? And turns out I actually owned it. I owned that $40 game. So maybe I also own that. I'll have to check out the stream. Maybe. Uh, we need sushi. We desperately need sushi, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some sushi. One large, one small. That'll fill out everything. We're going to spend all of our money on it. We'll actually check all of our loans as well while we're here, because we should have a loan. Yeah, here it is. So if we get 600 buckery booze, we can pay off this loan early, and then we're basically just making bank off of our own initiative, right? It's free? Oh, I probably do own it then. The other one was uh, 40 bucks. I looked at the price and I was like, whoa. And then uh, 
I looked at it on my desktop instead of on my phone. It just kind of like people were like, why does everybody like this? Because it does have overwhelmingly positive reviews. And I realized, oh, I actually have this in my library somehow. Okay, so it doesn't really look like we're getting a lot of late payment repercussions here. We have three grand's worth of debt. I don't think that's in the screen right here. I think some of it's in the screen right here. And the, I think the rest of it's over here. So remaining payment. If we pay this off early, we do actually end up saving ourselves probably around about 600 bucks, maybe 800 bucks. Six, 700 bucks, relatively. Yeah. Okay, so 700 bucks. So we definitely want to pay that off basically as soon as possible. We might want to drain our stocks and then just pay that off and then continue with what we're doing in here. Or we could expand out our repertoire of foods and see if we can't inflate what we're selling each day. Higher turnover does always equate to higher profit. Have you heard of Gorebox? No. Uh, is that like Gearbox? Gearbox Publishing? I saw Borderlands 4 is coming out soon. That, uh, Based on the movie that just came out, that could either be really good or really crap. It's like a 50-50. I can't actually tell which one I want to go with, though. How's our tea looking? I don't think we've bought tea in a long time. We are... Where is our tea? Got to be over here, right? Peanut butter is completely empty. We should probably get that back. We got coffee. We got 20 coffees. Oh, we got 56 teas. So we're actually doing pretty well. Excellent. It's a game? Is it, is it just like the one that was mentioned? Gun up? I haven't heard of a lot of games, honestly. I don't have a lot of time to, like, go around and check out games necessarily, but I do have a Discord, and in the game request channel, people can request that I play games, and I'll probably get to them eventually. It's also very bloody. Ooh. It's not like People Playground, is it? I played that for a bit, and then I felt a little bit guilty because I liked it. <laughs> it was actually really fun. It was just a sandbox. It was kind of like what I liked about Kick the Buddy, but with violence, with actual violence and not just harming a small pixel sprite. Wow, this guy's getting a lot of eggs. 100 bucks, thank you, sir, for your patronage. Oh my God, that little bit of salmon right at the end there. That was quite nice. Okay, we'll end the day. Day 61. So what have we got now? 777 bucks, what a lucky number. Okay, this guy should be restocking the shelves. What else we got? Got a bit of salt. That is annoying to look at. Seven boxes of pasta in two boxes is just annoying. And there's a full one right next to it as well. Okay, we got four more boxes of pipi de. I'm pretty sure we just got some, didn't we? Didn't we just buy the pipi de? Oh, we did. Okay, let's get some peanut butter, like six crates of it, fill out our entire storage. And then we'll get some pipi de. Add that to cart. I don't think we bought these, though. Okay, we'll get these two because they do give us a lot of money in the long run. And I think now we'll probably worry about getting that loan paid off. Because every day it's just going to be less and less. Mobile is free. Oh, like on your phone? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Mobile games are really hit and miss, aren't they? I've spent a lot of time on the Google Play Store. Not so much on the Apple Store, but definitely a lot of time on the Google Play Store. And most of the games that I've downloaded and played were just either flat-out scams or they lie in their trailers. It's very dishonest. It's a very dishonest place. Okay, so it seems like milk actually does get people over to the fridge. And they are kind of buying these things regardless of whether or not we see them do it. A watch pot doesn't boil necessarily. Uh, I'll check the olive oil because we always run out of that pretty... F oh, we're already out of it. That's annoying. Okay, olive oil it is right here. Six boxes of it, 248 bucks. Done. It sells really fast, that stuff. That's why we put it right here. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll start sticking this in the stock room. Uh, peanut butter goes... Yep, nice. Actually, let's go ahead and drop that off the face of the earth maybe we can empty this box yes sir we can now let's go ahead and get that other box of peanut butter two left in it just frustrating hopefully this lady takes one she will not okay i'm gonna throw that on the shelf right there and then we're gonna stack up all this peanut butter onto here so that the box with one peanut butter on it can kind of like just go right at the top okay got oil right here that goes there done We'll get some more peanut butter. Good. Right there. 12 in a box. That's pretty lenient. Got to be said. Another one right there. 36 bucks. Sorry, 36 lots. This one can go over there. I don't know where the La Pipites are being stocked, so I'm just throwing them across the storeroom in the hopes that our monkey will stock them at the end of the day. Uh, this goes here. Good. 
And this one here. This one goes all the way in this corner. Nice. Computer has updated, but mobile hasn't. That kind of reminds me of, uh, like, Minecraft and stuff. I don't know why. Maybe because on the console, Minecraft just doesn't get updated too much. Although, Minecraft also kind of uses the Bedrock Edition on PC as kind of like a testing beta, I suppose. Uh, Want to put some oil there. Very nice. And one more box. Oil. Nice. They can go right there. Where do these lapipites go? Probably up here, right? Oh, the rack's full. Uh-oh. <laughs> we need more powdered sugar. Okay, we'll get with two more powdered sugars. Actually, in the time it took us to restock that, we actually made all of that money back as well. Where is the powdered sugar? It's probably right up at the top, right? Right here. Uh, let's get two of them. Done. I don't know how well they stock. Not very well. Okay. Excellent. I'm back. Hey there, Bruce. Welcome back. What's the occasion? You're usually never this early on the streams. Okay, we've got some milk. We've got some eggs. Apparently frozen yogurt is too expensive. We could probably actually change that. I don't know. By 10 cents. There we go. We're having another sale here at Piss Off, everybody. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the sale. The first actual sale that we're having. That isn't just us changing prices. Uh, 10 cents off on the yogurt. For anyone who couldn't afford it, because they are broke as hell. That's including you, Kevin Spacey from House of Cards. Okay, bye. What a dick. What a dick. What's oh, Gorebox? The humans in Gorebox is like Minecraft too, but Gorebox has additional parts to make it more human-like. Ugh. Ugh. There are a lot of games that have a lot of gore in them that I find beloved, to be honest. Like Dying Light. Oh, God, I can't wait for Dying Light the Beast to come out. I'm so, I'm so horny for that game. It is such a goddamn good game. Best zombie slasher I've ever played. Hands down. Not even by a small margin. Just by a fairly wide mile. Okay, we've got some frozen yogurt. We could probably do with getting the frozen yogurt back. We are out of that pasta that we... I'm pretty sure we just bought. Seriously? Okay, we'll buy this again. And... Yeah, frozen yogurt's getting real low. So let's go ahead and get some more of that yogurt. Because it is... Strangely enough, it is a bit of a cash cow. And it's not actually that expensive. Okay, good. Done. Did we buy it? No, we did not. 169 bucks. Done. We've got 800 spear. How much is that loan? We could probably actually pay that off today if we are lucky. 1,500. Okay, we get 600 more bucks. We'll pay off that loan. I wouldn't be too surprised, though, if we kind of, like, just come shy of it because the next day we may be in a better place. <sighs> Couldn't find chocolate bar? Yeah, sorry, it breaks the game. It breaks the game, weird mansion owner in a white suit. Okay, this lady's getting a lot of meats. That's going to be an excellent cash cow for us. We need sushi again. What the hell? Seriously? Do we have to restock this, like, four times a day or something? Ah, oh, we can't do it. I want to pay off that loan more than I want to buy the sushi. I lied. I want the sushi. I want the sushi much more than that. Right, so down here we'll get sushis. Just so we can keep the shelves stocked and the restock monkeys can take care of that for me. Uh, what's this lady spending? 19 bucks? 22 bucks? 37 bucks. Okay, that's fine. Couldn't find Ron's sliced bread? It's because he doesn't live here. 7 bucks? 14 bucks? Nice! Okay, uh, less than I thought. 30 bucks is still like a reasonable amount though. Thank you, sir, and piss off. We are micromanaging these people's purchases. 21 bucks on flour. Jesus, lady. You know bread is actually a thing, right? Not here though. You'll have to buy it somewhere else. I'm a terrible salesman. Okay, this guy's getting a bunch of cases of muffins. Nice. Oh my God, that is expensive. That's like 30 bucks a pack. I love that. That is why we want to stock that at all times. You could search up Gorebox on camera. I could do that, but I've got a bit of a rule where I don't, like, derail myself from games anymore. A lot of people used to kind of nag me and demand that I go and react to things while I am quite clearly doing something else. And I've just decided that uh, we're not going to be doing that anymore because it's, it's it breaks the immersion. Maybe I'll take a look at it after I'm finished with this game, but I do have to shoot off early to go and pick up Yint Set because she is, as I mentioned before, having an absolutely terrible day, but this should be uh, over an hour away. Okay, this guy's buying a lot of sushi. What is that? 46 buckery booze? Nice. Do you stream on weekends? Uh, not usually. I usually do streams across the weekdays, and then I pl I make, like, edits to go out on the weekends. Although I've been out of town the last couple of weekends, so I haven't been doing those. They should be coming in a better frequency now, though. I do, like, a like Markiplier-style Let's Plays in the, on the weekends, so I edit those in my office, because I am good at editing. Much better at editing than I am at streaming. It's just so con it's so time consuming. It just takes ages. 
Okay, we've got a couple of people still buying things. We have 1100 bucks in our back pocket, and as I predicted, we are just shy of being able to pay off that loan, I think. So we'll wait for these guys to kind of check out. Maybe we will kind of like pull a rabbit out of a hat. Salt is too expensive. No, it's not. No, it's not. What a dimwit. I don't think he can read the uh, the label, unfortunately. What a twit. Oh, what a twit. Okay, got a few things here. Coffee, eggs, spaghetti. Actually, he's buying all of the spaghetti that we used to get the customers in the store, so we're probably going to have to re-up on that pretty soon. We've only got four more salmon, so we'll probably have to get more of that too. We've got a full stack in the fridge, and we are very close from paying off that loan. I think we we'll probably do actually want to expand and diversify. What's this guy spending? Enough. Okay, we'll end the day now, and we'll see what we've got here. We have 400 and 942. That's not great, actually. That's... The loan is kind of screwing us out of 156 bucks a day, but we should be essentially renting to own. Yeah, so 1400 bucks, and we'll be able to pay this off today, which will, again, save us probably around about 600 bucks now. Yeah, exactly 600 bucks, as opposed to yesterday, where it would have been almost 700 Okay. What are we looking at in here? Nothing. I don't think anything needs to be restocked. We still have a couple of blank spots on the shelves, though. Let's take a look at something to kind of, like, fill in that gap. Because we probably do have something that can fill the gap. We can't get this chocolate bar. We can't get this candy because they bug out the game, annoyingly. We could get Bun Papa. Bun Papa wasn't so bad. Actually, no, that also bugged out the game a little bit. What else we got? Uh, peanut butter, flour. We already stocked this. Tea, milk, eggs. Can't stick that on the shelves, unfortunately. This oil sucks. I don't think we'll worry too much about this because it doesn't stack. Actually, it does stack well. Okay, we'll just stack this up into the supermarket. Where do we want to put it? That is frozen yogurt, baking in the sun. Love that. Uh, probably want to stick this here because it's going to degrade quickly on the shelves. By degrade, I mean people are just going to buy it. And we'll stick it on here. And then we're going to stick another one underneath it. Boop. Throw that out. That is yogurt. That is yogurt. Throw that on the ground. That's oil. Let's just restock these shelves. I think I got drunk off yogurt. Yogurt. I'm fine. It was probably our kind of yogurt. We like to leave our yogurt baking in the sun right here so it grows mold. Because yogurt is a dairy product. And if I know anything about cheese, it's that moldy cheese sells for a heap of money. So we're trying to kind of like get the same thing going with our yogurt. When people peel off that tab and then they see the agar culture that we have handcrafted in that yogurt, they're going to think, piss off knows how to make the final touches on a product. Right? I mean, it's not our product, but we certainly know how to handle it. We should probably actually get some more salmon sooner rather than later. But no one's buying it at the moment. Hello there, sir. What are you restocking? Milk. Okay, good. My brother dropped his toys on me. He's still one years old. Uh, well, prepare for a life of that, because if I know anything from playing phone games on my phone at nighttime, you'll always have a night where you drop your phone on your face. I watch, I watch Yen Set do it for, uh, pretty frequently as well. It's pretty funny. It's funny when it doesn't happen to you. It's not funny when it happens to you, because a phone is actually quite heavy when it, when it hits you in the bridge of the nose right here. Makes for a big nose, though. 80 bucks. Nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, we need 1440 for the whoa this lady's got money we need 1440 for the loan to be paid off that actually made a significant dent probably only need a couple of sales this lady is buying a few bags of tea that is awesome and she's also going to get one bottle of oil that is actually an acceptable amount of oil to buy we should probably actually put bans on people who buy lots and lots of oil for for, for reasons other than cooking and eating here's that guy that only does back and obliques what a weird-ass guy. I wonder why he chose that. He's so skinny otherwise. <sighs> it has happened to me five times. What, you drop your phone on your face? It's happened to me five times this month. Uh, Yen said and I take sleeping medication because we both suffer from insomnia. So when that medication kicks in and you're on your phone, there's nowhere else to go but on your face. Okay, this guy's got uh, pork chops. Nice. What are you buying? Oh, we can pay it off now. Let's do that right this second. And then we'll worry about being able to buy more salmon in a jiffy. Paid off early. Done. We're now out of debt. We've got 69 bucks. That's hilarious. No, don't buy anything. We've got 69 bucks. Ah, uh, we've got time. We've got time. We've got time. Okay, she's getting some veal. She's getting some sushi. Yes, please. 100 bucks. Thank you. And piss off, tramp stamp lady. What a girl. What a girl. 
This guy's getting sushi. Oh my god, he's getting all the sushi. Love it. And he's also getting meat. Wow, this is going to be an expensive shop, my dude. You probably didn't want to do that here, to be quite honest. We've got a huge markup. 160 bucks? Not going to complain. This lady's just buying a bunch of crap. She's got so much oil. That's like four, maybe six liters of oil. With like three lamb chops. She's going to drench him. Oh, I see what the oil's for. It's not so bad now. 105 bucks? Perfect. Piss off. Piss off, red shirt. Okay, the Punisher here is... What's he buying? 44 bucks worth of stuff. Just threw my phone on the ground. Get her on the ground, then on my face. And we have Taylor Swift here, who uh, seems to be a void of color and sun reflections. And we also got a skinny, stone-cold Steve Austin standing here, smelling her shoulders. Which we should probably actually kick him out of the store for doing, but honestly, who doesn't want to rub sh shoulders with Taylor Swift? And make me food and I burnt the water, I'm great at cooking. How do you burn, burn the water? It can be done, it can be done. I have a friend who did that in high school during a catering class. We were waiting, we, essentially I was just chopping carrots in this catering class. I had another friend who was with me, dicing up zucchinis, and we just left him to boil water, and we came back to his area, and he only had an empty pot with just a bunch of burnt black stuff at the bottom, and turns out that was all of the kind of like, stuff that wasn't water that just got burnt off right at the end. It caught on fire! A fire out of sea parks. <laughs> Someone's gonna appreciate that. I love the IT crowd. It's such a funny TV show. Uh, what's this guy spending? Six, seven bucks? Sure. All right, we've got 800 bucks. We could afford more salmon. What else could we afford? More sushi, definitely. Let's go ahead and buy that. We could probably actually get a couple of units of sushi and a couple of units of everything else, right? What is this going to cost? 771 buckery booze? Done. And we also want salmon, which is 141 per pack. We'll just get the one. Just to replenish what we've got, and we'll wait for that checkout that I can hear beeping in the background. We'll wait for that to finish, and done. Got it. It's ours. Okay, it's really dark in here. Let's turn those lights on. We only have a single light in here that illuminates the entire warehouse. I wonder if the work is it. Oops. I think I just gave somebody epilepsy. Was it this guy? Was it skinny Stone Cold Steve Austin? Austin? He does have a really shiny forehead, so maybe I did give him an epileptic fit. What a twit. What an actual twit. Okay, this guy's coming in hot and heavy with something. What is it? Probably sushi, right? Yep, two packs of sushi. Great. Oh, we're finally going to be able to store this. Oh, I can't believe it. We actually have sushi stored. I love that. Only eight in a big box, though. That's kind of crap, actually. Okay, where do we want to put this one? Probably right here. No, let's swap these around because that one's full and this one's not. Just throw it. My God, my dude. It's not that hard. Eight and 14. Perfect. Okay, we still got 200 bucks in our pocket, and what are we about to make? Nice, another 90 bucks. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I see the emojis, by the way. I, I see them flinging all over the place. Okay, we've got a bunch of milk. We've got a heap of milk, actually. 50 U uh, buckery boost right in the pocket there. This lady bought six bucks of stuff. Piss off, you are banned. Bye-bye, don't come back. You asshole! What are you getting? Oh, she's getting a few things, actually. This self-checkout has really saved our ass. We don't have to spend anything on stuff. It's really enabled us to be super irresponsible. Okay. Stone Cold Steve Austin right here is getting the sweats, and that's not going to stop him from eating two packs of lasagna, probably for dinner. What a creep. We got 500 bucks. That's pretty damn good. This lady's getting three cases of muffins. That's just weird. This guy's getting some meats and some rice. I wonder why they didn't make the... The collision for the meats to be thinner. It's a little strange. We could probably actually get ourselves another license at this point. We aren't going to get ourselves another loan. We're just going to keep on doing what we're doing here. We'll replenish everything that gets empty or low at the end of the day. Because it seems like these guys do actually do a pretty good job of keeping the shelves restocked. Probably pretty low on cereal at this point. Where is the cereal? It is... Okay, we got a few more of the chocolate picks. We're completely out of the other cereal though. Let's just add that to the list so we don't forget. Right here, two of them. Three of them. No, two of them. Right there. Done. And then another two. Four of them to fill out the shelves. Okay. Everything's done. Let's go ahead and start the next day. Beautiful. And what do we want? Open. Got a lot of stuff out here that probably needs to be stocked. Just throw that there. Any cars coming? We could probably do an insurance fraud and get ourselves a little bit more money. Who was the other three people? What, the viewers? They're probably people that don't want to be called out for watching a stream. <laughs> if I had to extrapolate from incomplete data. Otherwise, they would have made themselves known. 
that's fine. There are lurkers. There are lurkers here. Wah. Okay, I don't know what to do with this yogurt. I'm waiting for a car so I can, like, throw it out onto oncoming traffic. Weird. Okay, we'll throw this down into the yogurt pit. Right there. Done and dusted. And we still got one more. No cars coming, though. That's weird. That's super strange. Super strange. Okay, I'm just going to leave that in the corner there. Actually, where is the hottest place? Probably would be in the middle of the road, right? Okay, we'll put that there. Just bake on the tarmac. Get that nice mold growing on our yogurt. Our trademark mold. Probably need to get a lot of basmati, right? Probably out, almost out of basmati. We're out of the pasta again. That's annoying. And we're almost out of the salmon. We're out of all of the meats. Oh my god. It's all starting. It's all starting. Everything is falling apart. We'll get all of these again. Actually, we don't need to do that until we kind of like... Until we run out of the meats. We, we just don't need it. Okay, we'll get the chippy cereals, and then we'll restock it ourselves because we don't really have a choice in the matter. One leaf? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, we'll throw these up here. Okay, good. One of our restocking monkeys is taking initiative for once. Perfect. I wonder how they like me calling them monkeys. It's probably not... It's, pro it's probably not socially acceptable to be calling your staff members monkeys. We need four boxes of flour. Let's go ahead and buy that now. Where is it? Right here. It's a shame that you can't add favourites. That honestly doesn't make any sense to me. That would have been the first thing I would have programmed to into a game like this, right? Uh, we can sort them by where we stock them, which is just stupid. Category? Edible drink cleaning? Again, like, sort them by price or something like that? Or not? Okay, sure. What about the floors? We can take a look at the floors, see what we've got. Actually, these are expensive as hell. 200 bucks to change the floor? Oh, we can afford that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's change the floors. What do we want? Probably, let's go with this nice marble ochre. Ochre marble. Okay, we're doing the ochre marble. We just spent 200 bucks on floors. I bet it's that one. Nope, that is flour. What is this? Flour. What is this? This is the floor. Okay. Are you taking the piss? Okay. We get four, like, per pack, right? Oh, this is okay. We get eight. Okay, that's okay. Where should we get a few of them? Box is empty. Okay. One, two. We get ten per box. Still, the diversity doesn't look that bad, right? I'm playing Gore Box and explode Gore Doll's arms off. by That's uh, psychotic. You have, a, you have a great time doing that, I, I think. I think? It's one of those things I've really stopped and asked myself. Do I really want somebody having a good time doing that? And I think in this instance, probably not. I hope you have an average time exploding people's arms off. <laughs> yeah, I oh know. That's what I was thinking. Okay, we need more TV dinners, which we can't necessarily afford, but we did pay off our loan. Oh, yeah, we definitely need more TV dinners. We sold out of one of them. Floors, they suck ass. We're not getting any more of those. Okay, TV dinners here. Scallops right there. Good, 200 bucks, and that is that taken care of. What else do we need? We are getting low on eggs. We'll wait until that completely degrades first. We've got one more box of the spaghetti. There's two places we can be keeping spaghetti. Go ahead and put that there. Take that off of the label. Uh, that is basmati. We definitely need more basmati at some point. We're almost out of it. Oh, we're completely out of the red pasta. We're also stocking that somewhere else, aren't we? Red pasta? Yeah, just right there. Okay, we're getting rid of the small label here. I think we just needed to kind of like... Look at this. Oh, man, we can get so many boxes of this. We've got one left, so we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get seven boxes of this, but I kind of want them to use this one first. Oh, my hero. My hero. We'll get eight boxes of that pasta right this second. Where are ya? Where are ya? This one right here. Eight boxes for 83 buckery booze. Done! This stuff flies off the shelves. I'm going to take that one before the whole stack falls over. Good. Put that there. Nice. Okay, how's everything looking? We are out of the beef again. We need to restock the veal and the beef. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. I am make you as loud as I possibly can. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Okay, we'll get this steak right here, and we'll also get this veal chop. Can we afford more? No, we can't. We can't even afford these two boxes. We're actually caught kind of in a bad spot now, simply because we don't actually have the money to sustain what we are doing. We've got to bought too many of these sundry items, I'd say. 
Turn this light on right here. Couldn't find steak yet. Yeah, we're out. Oh. That guy looks like a... He does look like a car guy, right? He definitely looks like one of those guys that fixes cars up in his backyard, a backyard butcher, one might say. And I'm not talking about the um, the Gacy kind or the Ted Bundy kind. I'm talking about, like, he makes cars and they look like ass, but he loves them anyway. Okay, we've probably actually got enough to buy what we needed to buy. Just going to go ahead and glitch through reality to get here. Done. We've bought it. It's a shame these, um, shame these street lights don't work. Okay, this is more pasta. We'll go ahead and just restock the room. Put that there. And we've got a couple more of these to go in. It's a shame these arrive in boxes of eight. That is such a suck. It is such a damp suck. I've been saying fart too much. I think. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm not saying fart enough. Okay, I can't see anything. We're going to trip and hurt ourselves. We've got one more box of pasta. I don't know where to put this. Right there. Very good. Okay. Uh, we've already restocked all the meats. That is our major cash cow. Beautiful. Love to see it. But you can put a lot of these on a rack at once. It's a shame they're so expensive. Although it's good they're expensive, because now they're a big ticket item that we just always want to have on hand. That beef is going to massively inflate his shop. Good. What's this guy getting? Salmon for 11 bucks. Don't mind if I do. And a couple of bits of beef. 15 bucks a slab. What an idiot. What an actual idiot. This guy's also getting some beef. You, sir, are dumb. You're actually a dumb man. And also Stone Cold Steve Austin looking at this guy like he's dumb as well. 64 bucks for steak? What an idiot. Stone Cold Steve Austin would never spend that much on steak. St st skinny Stone Cold Steve Austin right here. Sweaty Skinny Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's vegan. He doesn't eat cows. This lady, on the other hand, exclusively eats cows and muffins. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. 72 bucks? Sure. What is this guy getting? Big pack of sushi, thank you for your patronage. We'll see what else he gets after this here. Oh, small pack of sushi as well. Love it. It's kind of funny here in New Zealand. Because we're essentially the sister country, not to Australia, but to Japan. We have so many trade deals with Japan. The only thing we really have in common with in Australia is Australia's mines. Where we'll send workers over there and they'll send workers here. And that, like that's basically the long and short of it. Japan, on the other hand, I've got a lot in common with. Here in New Zealand... We have such readily available and cheap sushi, and yet everyone still calls it sushi, but what they actually refer to as maki, it's called maki. It's really strange. Oh? What, you, you thought we had more to do with Australia than we actually did? We don't actually want anything to do with Australia on account of how they run their country. I, I feel like any politician could look at Australia from a, a fairly long distance and think, oh, that's a sinking ship. Let's not hitch our lines onto that one. What's this guy doing? Uh, do we have peanut butter? Do we have the peanut butter? We've got to check. We have peanut butter. Let's help and restock. Good. We'll put all this here. Maybe one up top there. Nope, that is full. That's what I like to see. Peanut butter is fully restocked. Uh, we probably need more coffee though, right? We've probably already sold all of our coffee. Where is the coffee? There it is. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of coffee, I think. It flies off the shelves really, really fast. Let's get... How big are the boxes? I think we should just get six at a time. Okay, what are you guys restocking? Because only after these guys have restocked everything do we actually know what we have to restock in the storerooms. Hey, coffee. We've got tea to restock. I'm pretty sure we've got tea. Got peanut butter. Yeah, we got tea. What? How many is in it? Two. All right, thanks. A monkey can go and throw that out for me. Uh, we're, I think we're about to run out of tea. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we're just shy of running out. Fish? What, for sushi? Fish! <laughs> yeah, sushi's supposed to be fish. It's supposed to be just organic fish without anything else. But it's not really. Fish! Fish? No, we got fish. We got the salmon right here. Salmon stocked. We need everything else, basically, in the bag. Okay, these guys are definitely doing a good job, actually. They're emptying all of the boxes out that we don't necessarily want to keep here. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off this chalk pick. Right here, done. And we'll put these three back on the shelf if we can. Ah, that was why I suck it up there. I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, what else? Salt? We probably should do with getting a lot more salt than we actually have. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be running out soon. Ah, we got 56 articles left. Probably don't need to, honestly. Okay, peanut butter's good. Powdered sugar is pretty low. That might be the next... Or they could just stand at the ready. 
Okay, maybe we're low on powdered sugar. What is the powdered sugar? I think we may actually be pretty low on powdered sugar. We've got three more basmati rice. No one's restocking that for some reason. Uh, zero eggs, zero powdered sugar. Okay, that is a tomorrow problem. We've almost got a thousand buckery booze. So we'll just keep on restocking as we are, and we'll add more articles, I think, after we get the next license. Because as it currently stands, we've probably got displays for everything that we can manage right now. We need six, I think, sugars? I'll get two, just to start, because I don't know how they stack. Okay, what are we buying? A lot of coffee, a couple of sugars. What are these? Yeah, sugars don't stack very well, so we probably want to dedicate a whole rack to it. I'll hide that one there. Where's the sugar? This one right here. We'll stick it on kind of like this level right here, I think. And we'll put the other one on the other side so that it's labeled. And then we'll get another two of them. The coffee should be coming in as well. Add to cart. Done. 29 bucks. Done. Now, what else do we need? We need six packs of eggs. Probably should just get too many eggs, probably. Eggs. We'll get six eggs. Okay, that's 182 buckery booze. So maybe we don't want to buy that just yet because we can't afford it. Is anyone checking out yet? No. I love this floor. This is a nice floor. It's a nice wee entryway. It kind of reminds me of Rayleigh's over in California. Took a wee trip over to the US with the inset some years ago. Rayleigh's was a really nice supermarket. Yummy form. Raw eggs. Eat. Well, I don't think we can eat. There aren't really any survival mechanics in this game, unfortunately. We can, like, roleplay eating, but we can't really do anything other than that. All right, let's get these eggs. What else do we need? We are... Uh, we've got milk. Yep, we're almost out of these annoying little spaghetti boxes. What else we got? Uh, not a hell of a lot. Not a hell of a lot to be restocked. Uh, we're pretty low on tea, though. We should probably restock the teas. Let's do that. We'll restock tea right the second. This is a major cash cow, so we definitely want tea on hand at all times. Oh, did that tip us over the edge? What does it cost? No, that didn't tip us over the edge. But the next sale probably will. There we go. 100 bucks that was. Whoops. Got to actually check that one out. There we go, done. We'll go ahead and we'll start sniping this onto the shelves. T goes... Oh, can't see anything with that guy standing in the way. Right there. Actually, let's keep that here. We'll pick up this box because it's almost empty. And then we'll start restocking T. I'll throw it there. And then we'll start sticking all the other boxes that we just bought in advance. So that we don't have an annoying half-empty box right next to the place people are supposed to grab them from. No raw egg? No, there's raw eggs. In fact, I don't think anybody in this city actually eats anything other than just raw eggs. The rest of the stuff that we sell here, it's not for human consumption. You think we're actually, like, cultivating moldy yogurt to be sold for human consumption? That is, that's silly. It's a silly idea. Uh, more coffee here. We should probably restock this too. Done and dusted. What's this? Eggs. Okay, we'll put these eggs where eggs belong right there. Okay, that last box had nine eggs in it. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be, like, 12 or something in a box. Good, we got some coffee. That goes all the way over here. Nice. And this one right here is eggs. This one can go right there. We're at 453 buckery booze, which is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. We'll go ahead and restock that sugar. Put the eggs over here. No, we'll put it on the eggs shelf right there. And this one right here, moldy yogurt. Good, we'll stick this down here. Now, it does raise the question, what is everybody doing with the uh, moldy yogurt, right? So if people aren't actually eating the moldy yogurt, what are they doing with it? And why is it so popular? Okay, more tea over here. I don't think we can fit this on the tea rack. I lied. It goes on the tea rack. Okay, so we're almost at 600 buckery booze. We might want to save up and then get a license, right? Go into the market. Nope, we want to go into management. We don't want to get a cashier ever because they suck now that we've got automatic checkouts. Bills. Oh, we've got bills. Okay, we'll pay off those bills. They're only 10 bucks each. I'm not going to pay rent. Why would I bother? Product lessons. So we definitely want some of these, right? Orange juice, sodas, apple juice, a six pack of milk. So a lot of this seems like fridge stuff, which is an expensive rack. Maybe we want to get this here. Very, very nice looking product license for cleaning materials. Maybe we want to start stocking chicken and french fries and mixed pizzas and stuff. There's also cheese and this is all kind of like artisanal stuff. It's quite expensive though, unfortunately. I have caught. You have, sorry, you have, you have raw egg. Is that what you have? Okay, no boxes out here. I lied. There's one right here. What is this? Eggs. That was close. We almost missed some eggs. 
Nice. Love that. Okay. We should be making money. I think we're probably going to be running low on sushi, right? Uh, we're completely out of chocolate pick cereal. We'll get four boxes of that, of course, to top up what we already need. Because chocolate pick cereal is actually a, a bit of a cash cow. It's kind of expensive. Uh, let's put that one there, please. Yes, thank, thank you. See vous play, as they say in French. Good. Let's jam these boxes all the way into this hole right here. Done and dusted. Well, now it's done and dusted. So we don't have to worry about that again. We'll turn the lights on so everybody can see a little bit. It's only 10 bucks. I wasn't... Like, when I would go through this game, when I'm not Let's Playing this game, I would never turn the lights on because I can see in the dark, but I know that that's a revolting user experience, right? Not eggs too old? Oh, that sucks. That sucks that you don't have uh, any fresh eggs, unfortunately. I make eggs every night. Yeah, but like, uh, I would never turn the lights on. And I didn't realize it was only 10 bucks a day to be able to see. If I'd known that, I probably would have used them significantly more. But I never did. I never actually used them significantly more than I did. Okay, what's going on here? 50 bucks? Yes, please. Okay, we've got a grand and a half in our, well, 1100 bucks in our pocket. Maybe not a grand. Damn, lady, that one's going to be expensive. <laughs> 70 bucks, all she did was get four packs of meat. Sushi. Oh, right off the bat, that's going to be a ripper. Well, that sounded Australian. That's an Australian dialect. Although I was kind of like referring to the sound that comes out of a Velcro wallet. That's, that's what I always think of when I think of a ripper. Or a chainsaw. Something like that. Something non-Australian. 51 bucks, 58 bucks, sure. 62 bucks, sure. 69, ha. Huh? 73, 77. Thank you very much. Piss off, sir. Okay, what else is this? Five dollars, eleven dollars, seventeen bucks, twenty-three bucks, twenty-nine bucks, forty-three bucks, fifty-seven bucks, and let me be dares tip it over to sixty-one. We've got a grand and a half in our pocket. I'm actually right before we can't buy anything. We're gonna go into management and we're gonna buy this eleven hundred dollar product license so that our bills don't snipe us. Excellent. Probably should actually invest in another self checkout as well. I'm back out there, Faison. Yeah, did you have fun blowing people's arms off? That is a question everybody is really interested in. Especially the NSA. <laughs> okay, got some eggs right here. I love the NSA memes. When I first got Blade and Sorcery, I was like, oh, this is going to get me on an NSA watch list. Because I played it for the first hour and I thought, damn, this is violent and visceral. I played it like an actual martial artist, though. I think I, in my first go, I got about 20 people before I actually got hit. Pretty impressive, but I think I was taking it too seriously because you can always take hits in that game. You can take more hits than you think. And of course, there's those potions I didn't know were in the game. You can also use those to regenerate your health too. This guy's just getting cases and cases of la pipite. Okay, and also beef. Damn, he's going to be broke as hell. Uh, do we have enough meats in storage? I don't think we do. No, we don't have any meats in storage and we can't buy any. So we need veal, we need beef. We'll add them to the cart. Because we actually do need to keep stocking the stuff. Oh, would you look at that? We've actually got other things. We've got french fries. We've got chicken. We've got potatoes. We've got pizza mixed. And we've got another cereal. Does that just say bees on the front? Oh, we also got butter. Nice. Okay, let's add this to cart. We'll add the steak to cart. And hopefully by tomorrow, we can afford everything that we're about to buy. So butter. There's 24 in a pack. That's actually pretty good. Let's get like four of these. Hopefully they stack well. I wouldn't be too surprised if they don't though. That's six. We can also get another couple. We'll get maybe four boxes of cereal. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's almost a grand. Let's see whether or not people are still checking out. No. We can end the day. Great. I need GD to add more bosses. There's only two bosses. Observer and Verse Curse. Also known as Phil Timsky. Okay. You're out of my league. I have no idea what you guys are talking about anymore. What are you holding? Yogurt. What are you doing, my dizzle? Why don't you go ahead and stock it some... Oh, that's why. There we go. I've solved this problem. Does that actually fix it? Oh, it does. Oh, if I'd known that earlier, I would have just thrown extra boxes on the ground. Okay. Okay, we are open. We've got a couple of people coming down the street. Still really weird that these tiles are just, like, not even. There's no height map on them, though, which is quite nice. Huh. 
Observer is the old GB anti-cheat? Never heard of it. I don't even know what GB is. Oh, uh, Gorebox. Yep, gotcha. Gotcha. From context. We probably need more sushi as well, actually. We might be purposefully low. Yeah, we are purposefully low. We definitely need to re-up the meats before we start stocking all those excess things that we aren't stocking right now. Also probably going to need another shelf for the cereal. Okay, I'm going to move some of these shelves around. Let's go ahead and move these two over here or not. Put it here instead. Good, and we'll put another shelf here. We can stock a bunch of ugh, other things. A little bit of acid reflux got me. All right, we've got 500 bucks in pocket. That's pretty good, actually. We are doing really well. We aren't getting drained from that loan. That is a crap shop, lady. You piss off and don't come back. Oh, this guy's getting a lot of oil. Buddy, are you okay? <laughs> Do you really need that much oil? My God, my man. That is a lot of oil. You do not need that much oil. One, two bottles of oil in the bag. He's not even thinking twice either. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of oil. He also couldn't find the honeybee cereal. Oh yeah, that's right, because we don't stock it yet. What a dick. I think we need a grand for this first delivery order. What have we got? We have, yeah, 928 buckery booze. So that's going to be another 200 bucks or so. I think. Maybe 300. This guy's getting a lot of microwave dinners. And some muffins. La pipite. Fun to say, that is. Want to join Pixin? Are you trying to say Yinsen? Man, your keyboard's messed up, my dude. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, isn't it? These people are spending a lot here. I don't think we'll be able to maintain it for long, because I think we're getting low on our meat storage, though. We've only got one big sushi left. We probably definitely need to re-up that. This lady's walking like she's crapped herself. I wonder if she did. I wonder if she didn't. Hard to say sometimes. And she got the last box of sushi. She got the last bento, one might say. We must be running low on peanut butter, too. That's fine. We got that license. We've got a bunch of new things that we can now kind of start selling, if you can call it that. There's only two more microwave dinners, too. That's not good. Getting a couple of those little... Puddles the yogurt as well, I see. That's fine. I wonder if this one will tip us over the, the edge. It probably will, because she's getting that sushi, right? 19, 21, 24, and here's the sushi. 53 bucks, 57, 61, 65. Is this going to tip us over the edge? Let's see. No, sorry, we need one more successful sale. What are you spending? 40 bucks, that'll tip it. That'll tip us over. Good. Excellent. Uh, let's pay for this. Let's pay for this order. Now, some of this we don't have items for on the shelves, so we're going to have to stock them somewhere. Maybe, like, way up there at the top. And we'll stick six boxes up here at a time. Good. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and find somewhere to put this. I think we need another shelf, though. I wonder if we run out, run out of the cereal faster than we run out of anything else. Now, I could... Yeah, I don't know if I could just, like, throw these in the bin individually. No, I can't. So, we probably want to take one of these shelves right here instead of, uh, like, confusing our customer base. Cereal's too expensive? Okay, we'll change that right now. $8.50? More like $8.40, and don't say it, I never did anything for you. Everybody! Every shopper at Piss Off! You there, Rotund Man! Well, I have an announcement. We are having a sale on the cereal right here. I've lowered the price... You guys should be absolutely phenomenally stoked. <laughs> 10 cents. <laughs> That's like a New Zealand grocery sale. You want to play Gorebox? Here's a cheat code that GD lets us use. Revengeance? I'm probably not going to play it. Let's, let's be completely real. I don't even know what it is. Although, if you add it to the uh, request list, and, and it's safe for YouTube. That is another thing that I never really, like, iterate in my streams. Uh, games have to be safe for YouTube before I'll actually play them. I can't just play real gory games for the sake of real gory games, unfortunately. I'd like to, but I can't. Otherwise, I'd be playing, like, Blade and Sorcery and stuff like that on the, on the internet, too. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, YouTube doesn't necessarily like when you kind of have creative liberties with the, with the gore. Of the games? Okay, we're getting another Salmon shelf right here. And this should be the last thing we need to start placing these other doohickeys around the place. Where'd it go? Is it this? Yes, it is. Okay, good. This is a hideous shelf. And now it is ours. What is this? This is butter. 
The pace ends butter. That's what I like to see. We'll put it next to the salt so it stacks well. We'll keep like with like. And we'll put the butter at the bottom. When, what do you mean it needs to be in a fridge? Seriously? All right. That makes sense, actually. I buy margarine, so that's confusing to me. Yeah, margarine is just plastic. It's literally just plastic. Okay, we'll get some of the cereal then. And then we'll start putting it on these shelves here. And then we'll get the restock monkeys to deal with that. Turn the lights on so we can see. Uh, we want to change the price to... Eight bucks, maybe? And hopefully that should inflate our turnover. But it's also going to create another chore for us to kind of keep an eye on. We need all of the meats again, unfortunately. The butter is probably going to have to wait a little bit too. Have we got meats? Yeah, we got meats, actually. Meats are not so bad. We need more sushi, but I'm actually going to go ahead and buy a fridge. A single fridge right here. 200 bucks. Done. We'll add this to the cart. And we'll buy it before the 9pm close-off time. Perfect. And we'll stick this one right next to the others. Like so. I want it like nice and straight and even. There. Okay, butter goes in here. This is the butter fridge. Everybody likes butter, right? We'll get more butter. Uh, we'll probably stick sushi on the top three racks of here. Let's just fill this up with butter and then we will go ahead and adjust the price before anybody grabs a loaf of butter. Three bucks. All right, the butter is now three bucks each. Done. This sticks nicely. This one was a good buy. Okay, good. What else we got? Not a hell of a lot. What's this guy spending? 16 bucks. Yuck. What an asshole. What a stingy asshole. We need to restock basically everything, I think. <laughs> We still have shelves, but we still need a lot of other things. We need the basmati rice. I think that's probably first and foremost. Because it's one of the things that attracts people into the store. Where is it? Around about here, maybe? There it is. Two, three, four, five, six. And another one for the shelf. Done. What else do we need? Uh, yellow oil and peanut butter. We'll get three peanut butters, I think. Three peanut butters. Done. And that is our entire order filled out. We need 400 bucks for it. I don't know if we're going to get someone else checking out in here. I don't see any other shoppers, so. Day over. Okay. It is now day 66. Hopefully, we will get a nice visit from um, the one and only Baphomet today on account of all the sixes. But who knows? Who actually knows? Baphomet probably does. He probably arranges his own schedule. Oh. Sorry, let's get another phone call, but that one's not important. It's probably a telemarketer. Okay. What is going on out here? I don't see a hell of a lot. The Punisher's coming in, but he's walking a little bit too far away from piss off to be able to maybe come inside. Or maybe he's correcting his path. Maybe he's trying to maximize the distance between A to B by like taking a, a wide berth so he can get his wide frame into this door. Never mind. I overanalyzed the intellect of the Punisher. It was quite famously a little bit dumb, isn't he? <laughs> I think that's his whole thing. It's just like a dumb dad energy. Okay, what are you buying, my friend? What is it? Just a bunch of milk and some TV dinners? Some lasagne? Lasagne? Delicious. Oh, I couldn't find the bump cake. Well, that's because it breaks the world, asshole! What a guy. What are you looking for, friend? Couldn't find anything... What? The, what? Lusty what? I think I was looking for a, co a copy of the Lusty Argonian Maid, but unfortunately, we don't sell that either. That is smut. I bet somebody sells smut around here. Maybe. I don't know, actually. It's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell just exactly what kind of smut that we do sell. Oh. Actually, restock and salt. How many are left? Quite a few. Excellent. Okay, so... We are probably out of peanut butter. We're out of a bunch of things, actually. We still can't buy the order, can we? No. We need 400 buckery booze to be able to do that. Oops, I accidentally just changed the scene. Let's go ahead and change that back. That was embarrassing. Let's go ahead through here. Can we put this back on the rack yet? Yogurt. No, we can't. All right. Yogurt's not selling very well, it seems. That guy just bought like four sticks of butter. Dude, are you serious? Oh, this lady is also buying butter. Yeah, we're definitely going to need another self-checkout. Seriously? Is that all you're getting? Six bucks? Piss off. Let these other low-poly people... What is up with the low-poly people and the low-wallet count? What a dick. Oh, Biden's walking past. Wonder why he's here. Wonder why he's in town. Oh, this guy's getting meats. Nice. And 438 bucks. That tips us over the edge. Love it. Let's go ahead and buy all of this. 
Gorgeous. We've got 60 bucks left. It's not great, actually. We still need to buy all of our meats. Not meats, sushis and also TV dinners. How much is that going to cost? TV dinners and sushis. Sushi is really expensive. All right, we'll get two packs of them each. We also need two packs of these scallops. We'll get three packs of them. They're not too expensive. And we'll get two, three packs of the moussaka. How much is this? 1300 bucks. Good golly. That is expensive. Whew. Okay, peanuts getting, peanut butter's being restocked. I'd love to see that. What is this? Basmati rice? That's being restocked as well. I'll go ahead and throw these back here so that our monkeys can restock them at their own leisure. In fact, we could probably do a good service by taking these boxes and then throwing them at the doorway to the storage. To kind of like minimize the path required to get to the storage by our restockers. Very nice. Couldn't find the world-breaking cakes. That sucks. Hate that. What a guy. That's smart. That is a little bit smart, isn't it? I kind of like stole the idea from Payday 2 where you leapfrog all the bags in sequence. Because if you have any more than two bags in Payday 2 unmodded and you're kind of like carrying them all the way to the car, you're actually wasting time. You can, you can just pick up the bags and toss them. And that distance makes up for it as long as you have an excess of two bags to be leapfrogged. 200 IQ? Ah, it's just something you, you kind of gather after time. You should know that after playing 100 hours of speedrun and cry of fear. You know, some things just come with experience. It's not really, um, we probably could have just restocked all of that ourselves, though. Realistically, I was just being lazy. Okay, 24 bucks. That's a terrible shot. Please piss off. Never come again. And this guy right here with a very sharp beard. 15 bucks. Why are they spending next to nothing? What about this old lady in a lab coat? Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Damn, she got beef. 54 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't find the cheese. We don't sell it. We probably stock cheese. It doesn't stack very well, and it's not very expensive, though, so that's why I'm apprehensive to it. Maybe the boxes are okay. Also, couldn't find cheese. Fine, I will get cheese, which means we have to get rid of our last order, which we actually desperately need. We do need the... We do need the next order to go through about as soon as possible. That is our cash car. I don't speedrun supermarket simulator. I bet you would if you played the game like I do. We're already at store level 25 and about to hit level 26. This would generally be probably roughly... 25 hours, I would say, and we've done it in 15, maybe. I'm real good at finding min-max efficiencies in simulator games. It's a, it's a hidden talent of mine. 70 bucks? Yes, please. We probably, yeah, so we don't want to take any more loans out. That actually seems to cripple us in the long run anyway. It does give us access to licenses, but we're now at a point of the game where I haven't seen the other licenses. We're all in new territory now. This off has reached 500 bucks. Hell yeah, it has. The game kept breaking, though. What, this one? Yeah, that is true. The game did keep breaking. <laughs> yeah, we should actually be, like, much higher then, right? Because all the NPCs should have gotten us significantly higher levels. That's a good point. I never considered that. I never take, uh, like, breaking games into account because it always happens. I always break games somehow, inadvertently. It always happens. The sushi small is too expensive for me. All right. I don't, I don't care, sir. Oh, the B cereal is too expensive. Not the bees! What a dunce. Go home! He looks like a rich wanker. He's not spending his money, though. That's probably how he's a rich wanker. 14 bucks. Why is nobody spending any money on the big stuff? Everybody's just diluting their their wealth with all of this crap that we only have to get people into the store in the first place. That's weird. The salmon is invisible sometimes. A single salmon. 11 bucks. Okay. Salmon is the only item in this game that I would probably consider to be more expensive in-game than in real life. To be quite fair. Maybe also the sushi. Although, how we price the sushi, uh, yeah, it's definitely it's more expensive. No one in New Zealand will pay 22 bucks for a, a bento box. It's like 15 bucks here. And if it's any more than 15 bucks, people are going to throw things at your, at your business. You're not going to get any customers. You'll go bankrupt really fast. The hell is she looking at? She just looked this guy's up and down. I mean, she's buff as hell. Maybe she's, like, sizing him up for a fight. Maybe she's going to jack his wallet later. He was kind of wealthy. Oh, never mind. She's getting lots and lots of oil. Maybe she's going to rub oil all over herself and then try to wrestle him. Break into his house, try and wrestle him. Piss off has reached a thousand bucks. Hell yeah, it is. Piss off is making bank. Despite the obvious marketing. <laughs> like, the brand should really deter people from coming into the store. And also, the colors are revolting, you know. Lime green and magenta. 
But it seems like people are not actually deterred whatsoever. It seems like people actually, they quite like the convenience of piss off. Wow, she's got cleavage. Look at those bazingas. Bye bye lady. Couldn't find the candy? It breaks the world, that's why. Okay, let's see what we're low on. We're low on that oil, right? We're probably low on a bunch of things. Mainly the fridge stuff. We don't have another customer. Let's just go ahead and skip the day. Day 67. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and open the day. What are you holding? Yogurt. Wow, that is actually annoying. I think you just picked up the one on the ground. Let's leave this one on the road. Oh, it's also half empty. Okay. That's going to confuse someone. Okay, so we've got some peanut butter to be restocked. I could probably do that myself. We've got... Uh, what? Why are they putting these boxes back? I'm going to throw that out the door so that the monkeys have something to do. What are you guys restocking? Are you restocking that peanut butter? Damn well better be. Yes, sir. -y. You do not put that back. Oh, there's only two left in that box, and he's still putting it back on the shelf. What an ass hat. I do like bees cereal. Oh, honey bees. Oh, it's not just bees. My bad. My bad. The milk is too expensive, then don't drink it. Sushi is too expensive, then don't eat it. I'm charging them international prices. It's pretty funny, actually. Ah. Okay, the milk is too expensive. Is it actually? $3.50. Surely it's not. How about $3.20? Another sale going on at Piss Off, everybody. Great. We've got 888 and zero, zero cents. Please don't ruin it, lady. Oh. It's fine. Once this guy dumps into our wallet, we are going to probably be able to buy the other sundry Zenikutramon, right? What have we got? 1360, and that is how we get ourselves whatever we're about to be getting. 1360. That's also a multiple of 180, I'm pretty sure. Bro thinks we're selling bees. We are selling bees. There's a box of bees right here. See? We're selling a box of dead bees. You open it up and uh, there's not cereal. That thing at the bottom, that's a lie. There's no cereal in these in these boxes of bees. It's literally a box of dead bees. That is what we are selling for eight bucks. Dude, like, you would think, right, that a cereal, a box of cereal, 400 grams for eight bucks, would be a little bit pricey. You'd think, right? It's actually more here in New Zealand. And we're not even selling that here in Piss Off. We are currently selling... Uh, 400 grams of dead bees. That takes ages to get together. That is why it's so expensive. So realistically, we're actually probably undercutting all of our competition on our box of 400 grams of dead bees. Oh, it's apparently it's too much. Okay, fine. We'll drop it down a little bit. How about seven bucks for the dead bees? <laughs> what a stupid premise. What a stupid bit this is. Okay, we can almost actually get that order. I think another 60 bucks. That guy sure as hell isn't going to give it to us. Four bucks? Nope. Yeah, we definitely don't have the foot traffic to kind of like manage what we need. Seriously, lady? God, you want to rob us any further? Okay, this lady's getting enough. This might tip us over the edge. Yeah, this is tipping us over the edge. Excellent. Okay, so 365 that's $2 shipping, and we should be $2.60 in debt. All right, it's changed. Now, what do we get? Ah! That was close. Almost just died in an, an industrial accident. Okay, I'm going to throw all of these at the doorway again because I don't remember where we put them. And I don't want to have to look. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just throwing boxes all over the street. Watch out. Watch out for all these boxes here. Excuse me, monkey. Just got to throw these boxes out all over the street. There we go. Oh, I didn't actually think they'd do their job for a living. That's weird. It's not like them. I hope they're okay. Okay, we'll take a look at the other items that we just got with that license, and we'll probably actually end up getting some other things. Oh, we need a freezer. Ah, we've got a we've got a new item now. We've got a bag of potatoes here. What else? That's about it. We can get these bags of potatoes. I wonder how they stack. There's only four of them in a in a single unit. Are you taking the piss? What a disgusting thing to sell. I don't think I want to sell. Oh my god! And the boxes are revolting too. Yuck. Okay, we'll keep these up here. We'll put that one there. And I'll grab this one too. This isn't even expensive. This is literally... Oh my god, seriously? We can only put one box on the... Screw these potatoes. We're never going to sell these again, I don't think. We'll put them under the bees and that's it. Oh my god, they are sucky. They are so suck. Yuck. They are super suck. Six bucks a bag. We shouldn't be selling these, right? We should not be selling these. 
Are people even gonna buy these? Six bucks a sack. I don't know. Yeah, this self checkout's getting a little congested. Maybe we want to invest in a bigger one. Or at least something else that these people can kind of like blast through a little bit faster. I know that the checkout guys are significantly slower than this, which is pretty funny though. Okay, we probably want to restock that sushi because it is a major cash cow for us. Look, this lady's spending almost 100 bucks. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay. So let's take a look at the sushi because we do need to. We're never getting this potato sacks again, by the way. They suck ass. Yuck. Two in a box. Revolt. Four in a box. Yuck. Probably get ourselves a freezer then, if that's the case. There's a fridge. Display fridge. Not interested. Mini fridge. Why? Single freezer? Probably not too interested in a single freezer. We probably want this. Oh, we don't have a choice, do we? We have to have these single freezers because it bugs out the AI if we don't. Ah, we'll try for a, for a double. Maybe the maybe the freezer's not as bad as all the other things. Okay, done. We bought it. I spent all of my money on a single freezer. Where do we want to put this? Probably somewhere a little convenient, right? Like here? That way everyone can see as soon as they walk in that we have frozen goods now. Let's try and snipe some of the other items before we hit the 9pm cutoff. Chicken, we'll get four. Uh, French fries, we'll get four. Pizza's mixed, we'll get three. Okay, we've maxed out what we have here. We still need nothing. We've got 56 cents to our name and a, a bunch of other items. Let us have more items. Okay, I'm going to stick that there. Let's throw that over there and we'll worry about the storeroom soon. Six bucks each. Each sounds fair to me. Although, again, it's diluting the things we actually want to sell. Uh, let's stick these pizzas up there. Even though it's probably going to spoil up there. What is this? This is chicken. Good. Put chicken over here. Can't throw here. Well, try and stop me. Uh, these are ten bucks each. Let's make them twelve. Done. And we'll go ahead and we'll stop these because they're in a big box. Probably up on top here. Above the milk? Probably a good idea. All right, got another chicken right here. Actually, let's take this and uh, fill out the the freezer right here. All four of them in the drink. All right, what else we got? We have ourselves French fries, which we can't stock, annoyingly. It's a bit of a, bit of a shame. How does it stack? I think it stacks pretty well. We can probably put them here. Can we get maybe four of these on the rack? I don't know if we even want to stock these, to be honest. All right, we'll finish the day after everybody has kind of checked out. What do you mean it's too expensive? It's six bucks. Do you know how expensive this stuff is here in New Zealand? These are like 16, 17 bucks here at the supermarket. My God, these people in their privilege. Oh, uh, can't find cheese. Yeah, we don't sell it. In fact, we probably should be selling it realistically because everyone keeps asking for it and we'll get more experience for it. Not like it's doing any good. Uh, I want to take a look at the next management step for the hiring. So, we need to be level 29, which we are very close to. We need 13 racks. Jesus, don't know how we're going to pull that one off. And then we're also going to be burning 90 bucks additionally each day. Those are like 3 to 4 euro here in France. What the? Pizzas! No shot! No shot these ready-to-make pizzas are 3 to 4 euro in France. That's like that's like seven New Zealand dollars. Again, that's less than half of what we usually pay for a frozen a frozen pizza. All right, there's still accumulating mold. Good. Do we have any more shoppers? No. End of the day, I don't want to give my restocking monkeys a single break. I'm not interested. All right, we've got 368 buckery booze. Racks are full in storage. Of what? What are these? Why'd you only restock one of those? Is it these? Hello? No, it wasn't these. What is that? These? No? My dude! What are you holding? I'm trying! I'm doing my best! Okay, we are out of a couple of items, actually. What is this? This is... TV Dinners by Pripyat. Okay. That's Russian. Unusual. I don't... See anywhere where he... Is it these? This is that! Oh, okay. So when I took it off the shelf the first time, he was like, Huh? Is that the right thing? What an asshole. They use cheap tomato for the sauce. It's frozen. It's not worth much. 
Yeah, same here in New Zealand. Our frozen pizzas are extortionary. A single cheese pizza, a medium-sized cheese pizza, you can spend like 15 bucks on at the supermarket. Frozen. And it is the crap tomato sauce as well. It's not the good stuff. It's never the good stuff. If you want a good pizza, you can spend like... 20 bucks, I'd say. Domino's here is absolutely disgusting. It's, it's not actually worth any money. I don't know why people keep buying Domino's here in New Zealand. It's just not pizza. It's basically uh, cardboard saturated in grease. That's essentially it. I haven't bought them in so long, and I'm not going to. Why is this guy just standing there? There are actually some racks to be stacked. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. We'll put that there so this other guy... Are you serious? My man! Okay, we'll open up the store. I was just kind of like... Trying to get everything restacked so that we can get everything visibly dealt with. Don't know where I was going with that. Okay, we're out of the potatoes. Thank God. Hopefully they've all sold. They have. Let's get rid of these labels. They suck. We don't want to sell that. Uh, we need the meats now, actually. I think the chicken is probably a bit of a crap sell as well. Well, wait until we sell all the chicken, then we'll replace it with french fries. How does that sound? Hell no. I barely eat any slop food, not going to lie. How French of you. How very French of you. Although, game sees game. Here in New Zealand, we have absolutely phenomenal food. Our agriculture is very, very clean and uh, natural. It's not genetically modified Monsanto stuff like America has. Even though they do actually have these gigantic fruits that come out of the genetically modified stuff. And they do actually taste pretty good. I had a couple of the apples and strawberries. The strawberries are as big as a fist over in uh, California. They're insanely large. But uh, all of our stuff is very, very organic. Even our meats are kind of, like, world-class, I would say. Over in the US, one of our kind of, like, normal steaks, I don't know what cut you'd call it, but the normal steaks you get in the supermarket here, you'd probably spend about 12 bucks a kilo. Over in the US, they're about 60 bucks a kilo. And the only difference is that in the US, they've got the sticker that says New Zealand on it. That's it. They just put a sticker on it. One third of American food is illegal in Europe? No, Really? Actually, like, I got a bit of a, I got a bit of a response that would say cap immediately. But, it, like, thinking about it, I can definitely see it. What about Taco Bell? What about US Taco Bell? Because that stuff is fire. I love American Taco Bell. I'm very open about that. I'm not surprised, though, honestly. Their FDA over in the US is very, very lenient. There's, like, there is actually an acceptable amount of human flesh that sausages can have. What's Taco Bell? Really? I, d I don't know if you're being facetious. It's, it's pretty big. It's like, um, it's kind of like the McDonald's, I would say, of Mexican food. Or KFC of Mexican food. Maybe Mac uh, maybe Nando's is the McDonald's, but definitely the KFC of, of Mexican food. Uh, over in the US, it's, it's got super crispy chicken. They've got a bunch of spices. They put fresh vegetables and stuff in there. We don't have that in France. I just Googled it. Well, we've got one here in New Zealand, specifically here in Dunedin, New Zealand, where I live, and they boil their chicken. They don't spice their meats, and all they stick in there is, like, a leaf of lettuce and some black beans. It's disgusting. It drips. You pick it up, and the taco drips. Well, maybe not taco. Burrito. I usually get burritos. I don't like tacos. But a, a, a burrito is not supposed to drip, especially after it's been, like, baked. Enchiladas, they're not supposed to drip. Ooh, yeah, it's disgusting. Neither in Europe. Do you have Nando's? Do you have Nando's in Europe? I know that Nando's is a big thing in, uh, where is it, England. But at the same time, it is, again, here, it's cooked the same. It's boiled chicken, uh, very flavorless, uh, quite disgusting. And usually, there's like a 50-50 chance you'll get salmonella if you actually eat it. Usually people just buy it because of the meme. Oh, if you can handle spicy Nando's, you can handle a woman in bed. But that's very clearly not the case here. Because if you have spicy Nando's in anticipation for getting a woman in bed, she will watch you violently uh, project diarrhea across the room. And vomit. French tacos are so far, even though they have nothing related to an actual, t actual taco. What's a French taco like? Describe it to me. Because if it's like soft wrap taco, that's that's my stuff. I don't like hard tacos whatsoever. Simply because of the shards, they stick into your, your cheeks and they cut things. I love spicy, not going to lie. I barely eat any fi food without harissa. Harissa's delicious. Oh, I love harissa so much. Harissa's good. Uh, we, it, it, that's a treat here in New Zealand. Harissa is a bit of a treat. It's kind of expensive, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely worth having every chance you get. We should probably actually get some more of the meats, right? That's what we needed after the last shop we had. Yeah, we're completely out of our meats, and we probably also need to double up the order. So we have some in deep storage. Where is it? Two steaks, two veal chops, done and done. 
That's twelve hundred ninety-six bucks, thirteen hundred bucks, and we are golden. What are you buying, Biden? What did you buy? I can't tell. Oh, we can't find bottled water. It's probably because we don't sell it, my dude. Ah, good. Uh, so we are out of the chicken, which is probably for the best because chicken didn't stack so well. No, we're not. What the hell? Seriously? Uh, why? Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I love how the beeps in this change, uh, depending on which move. It changed. The pitch changes based on how fast you're moving. So you're actually modifying the speed of sound by moving. I'm trying to, like, uh, replicate it. See? That's funny. I love that. What do you mean the racks are full and... Seriously, guys? Oh, look. The yogurt savior has arrived. Come on, my man. Goose guarding the goddamn yogurt. Now we better throw that out. There better not be one more thing in there. Why is everyone going behind this? That's weird. Okay. Do your job now, buddy old pal. We'll take a look at the storeroom later. I think we're out of peanut butter, actually, so we can probably guarantee that that needs to be done. Let's go ahead and order the meats straight off rip. And now, peanut butter. Peanut butter, where are you? Where are the peanut butters? Peanut butter right here. We want, like, six crates of it because it's it just always sells. Why don't they put back the box in the stockroom? I think it's because it's full. Oh, we also need lots and lots of salt now, too. Yeah, they're definitely full. So I think he's holding one of our microwavable things. Moussaka, definitely. So in here, should realistically be full in the fridge down there. Yep, it is full right there. We've got all 12 on the on the rack. And I'm pretty sure this is the rack here. So it is full. It is actually full. It's just unfortunate uh, because this dickhead here can't really gauge from context that he needs to drop that on the ground. But I imagine that would cause kind of like a, an annoying loop. Uh, we also need boxes of the powdered sugar. We can get four of those, I think, and get away with it. I feel like it's a limitation in the actual engine's development. Unlike the whole stupid limitation of only ten items. It's got to have something to do with the spawn points, right? What are these? Ah, steaks. Okay, we definitely want to stock these as soon as possible. Or they are doing it for us. Perfect. Love to see it. Good. Now throw that box out, sir. Is this empty? No, still two more chickens. Oh. <laughs> hey, someone's buying our dead bees. Nice. I knew it was worth getting into that that bee that apiary and then and then killing a bunch of bees and then stuffing them into boxes while the uh, while the the apiarist wasn't looking. Okay, good. This guy's probably going to spend an arm and a leg. Twenty-five bucks. Never mind. It's not even spinning a toenail. Okay, it looks like we're out of eggs, milk. We're literally out of everything. Okay, so tomorrow we're just going to spend the day in the stockroom, I think. Kind of maintaining what we've got. We won't worry too much about the rest of this. We want to sell these two chickens right here, and then we want to replace that with french fries, because uh, the chickens are expensive, but there's only four of them in a bag. Okay, good. One more left. One more. Somebody buy that. Somebody buy the last chicken. I beg you. Can't find El Elo Pasta Spaghetti. Yeah, we're pretty barren on a lot of things, to be quite honest. But we got meats. We don't got sushi. That's a shame. Okay, this guy's buying the chicken. 42 buckery boos, and he's off. We've got 800 bucks in our pocket. What do we have after the day is over? We have 422. That's not bad, actually. We are making profit. Okay, the day is open. Seriously, guys? Oh, my God. I think they're both holding a box of the TV dinners. Oh, I can't believe this. I literally cannot believe this. Ah, we'll just wait, actually. It's not like they're terribly important or anything. Okay, we'll get these slabs of veal. I'm going to just throw them on the ground. Restocking the restock room is going to be their issue, not mine. Uh, we can actually get rid of this entire box of coffee right here. Let's go ahead and jam that right there. Done. And I'll throw that on the ground so that our monkeys can throw that out, not me. Good. And uh, let's try and buy all of this stuff here. Excellent. Now, I don't know what these guys are going to do, but I am going to run the store. Do you guys want to, like, work for a living? No, nah, probably not, actually. They probably don't want to work for a living. That's why they've uh, sold their souls to us. For infinite servitude. Uh, we got no more tea. I don't think... Oh, no, we got tea. We definitely got tea. We've got an entire stock room's worth of tea. Let's go ahead and throw this one out because we're done with it. Nice. 
And we've got more tea here. We've got 20 tea in our arms. Good. Three stock it. We'll put all of this back here. Uh, yogurt probably... Ah, it's more or less full. Uh, salt can probably go up next. We've got three salts left, so that's something else that we can restock. Put that up there in case anybody wants to take more than their fair shares. Okay, good. They're finally actually taking the things off of the floor, off the pavement. You are taking the piss, good sir. There's two left. Throw it out. I can't believe this. <laughs> that is actually really frustrating. Oh, we're out of the chicken. Perfect. So we can now go ahead and just get this here. French fries. I don't know what makes them French. No, those are pizzas. Okay, so we want those up there. Got lots of pizzas to be stacked back up. Where are the French fries? What is this? Oh, no, we can't sell... Oh, we've still got chicken to, to go out, unfortunately. About a box and a half's worth. Probably shouldn't have emptied that small box, to be quite honest. We probably should have got the big box out. All right, what are you... What are you regenerating? Eggs! Well, did you actually want to put eggs in there, maybe? How much eggs have we got? We've got nine more eggs. I'll restock them, my dude. I will do it. I will do it. We've got one more left. Okay, I'm just going to stand here like an asshole until somebody takes the eggs. This is how you work your wage, by the way. This is how you work as hard as these monkeys right here. I mean, he did just restock uh, last of the sushi, I suppose. But we are going to stand here saying, I can't do anything else. There's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing else that we can do until somebody takes one pack of eggs from the shelf. Hello there, Tramp Snap. I, I recognize her from her face. She's a regular. Oh, we're almost out of butter too. Uh, would somebody like to buy these eggs? I am physically disabled and cannot distinguish whether or not there's something else to be done. I'm throwing this on the ground. <laughs> okay, so we want to restock the... We don't have any salmon left. We want to go get that. There is stuff to restock. Uh, chicken. We want to get the chicken basically out of here as soon as possible. Excellent. Just like that. Where are the french fries at? We've got the le pipites right there, I think. We don't necessarily uh, care too much about it, though. What else have we got? Oh, we've got another box of it over here. That's strange. Okay. I'm actually going to stack these here. And then we're going to get rid of that label right there so we don't double stack too much. We need lots of salt right off the bat. And we probably actually should just get salmon because it is a cash cow and a half. Uh, and the rest is going to be salt. Where is the salt? There it is. Okay, we want to get as much salt as we possibly can, probably 10 loads of it. That exceeds what we can buy, so we are going to buy another 10 right here for 145 buckaree booze. Great! How many of the lepipi there? Have we got 40? That's pretty good. We need six packs of eggs, I think, or four packs of eggs. Hard to say. Where are the eggs at? Six. We'll go for six. I think it's got the long boxes, so that should be good. Uh, salt's coming. We have enough butter to slake our thirst. We need four boxes of the bougie flour right here. Right here. Done. 100 bucks. Down the drain. We've got eight bucks to our name. Let's go ahead and start sticking all of this over here. Uh, apparently, we bought some peanut butter. I didn't realize that. By the way, whenever you go to the supermarket and there's like, there's an article that you buy. There's a, there's a food item that you buy and it's like crumpled in the corner and stuff. This is why. It's because people are throwing them at the doors. They're leapfrogging them across here. Throwing the eggs... Very common. People love throwing eggs in supermarkets. Almost as much as they love throwing eggs at, uh, what are they called? Lynch mobs. No, that is a racist thing. Uh, no, it's not. It's a community thing. It's just got a racist thing because of how lynch mobs usually kind of like bond together as a community. Okay, we'll come along here. Get all of this thrown over here. What is it called? Oh, there's a word for it. It's around the tip of my tongue. Okay, I'm still throwing Excellent. Okay. We'll throw these here. Little salt too. Nice. Love that. And now we've got the flour, which again, I'm going to throw. Throw it all over the place. Hope it doesn't burst because that will create a huge mess. One might say. Okay, perfect. That is a mess. Oh my God. That is a hell of a mess. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not paid enough to deal with that. What else have we got? I'm going around the mess. So we just got lots of salt, got lots of flour. We just got lots of eggs. We've still got a lot of lepipites to be sold. We need like four boxes of milk, I think. 
Four, please. Four boxes of milk. Yes, we'll buy that right this second. We need six lumps of peanut butter, which we actually already bought. We need both olive oils. We need sunflower oil, and we also need the other olive oil right here. Done. 200 bucks. I'll pay that. Sure. And we also need the other oil, which is right here. Six of those. Sure. Thank you very much. What else we got? Can't see. Okay, I'm tripping over everything here. A flour. The white boxes of spaghetti we don't have any of, so we probably need four packs of those. Four packs. Done. We're probably actually going to stick one of those straight on the racks here, so we probably should have got five, but we didn't. Uh, we also need big sushi. We need big sushi. Let's get some big sushi. Uh, right here. Nope, that's veal chops. Sushi large. We can't afford two of them, but we'll add two to the cart regardless. I want to. That's why. Okay, this whole place now screams not a me problem. That is, this is not a me problem. I'll throw all of this. And I'm really struggling to grab these. Throw all of these over here into the doorway. This is pretty much how we have the, uh, fir the first setup, right? Although in this instance, we aren't just piling back a floodgate of mess and crashing bugs. Now we're actually doing this functionally. I think we can actually throw smaller boxes far as well. Okay, good. Throw all of that around here. And one more. Let's look at what we've done. That is a hell of a mess. I'd love to see it. Okay, yeah, yogurt is too expensive. Moif chicken is too expensive. Well, that sucks. Sucks to be her. Uh, do we have any more chicken? No, just the fries. Okay, so we want to set this for the pizza rack. And up here, we're going to be sticking French fries, I think. Where do we stick the french fries? Was it up here? No, it wasn't up there. That's cereal. I'm still here. Hey there, Bruce. I was wondering where you went. Or was I? Ah, here we go. Here's the french fries. So now we're going to be stocking this french fries. I thought these were already gone. Damn. I thought somebody bought those other two chickens in the time it took us to get these french fries. Oh, that's milk. Whoops. Want to restock that as milk? Good. Whew. Hey, kicks in a game? I've never played the kicks in a game. Okay, we've got olive oil. We'll start restocking this place. I did say it wasn't a me problem, but I suppose at this current point in time, it is actually a me problem. I just wanted to watch all the AI do this. Yes, they're doing it. No, they're not. They're restocking. Well, I suppose I can't fault them on their initiative, right? Oh, come off it. Oh, they just restocked the eggs as well. How many eggs do we have? 14 in the rack. God, that's so annoying. What are these guys doing? Are they restocking peanut butter? Uh, we need cereal as well. We probably are out of Chocopic up on the top rack. Now we still got Chocopic. We still got four boxes, four loads of Chocopic, which I'm actually going to empty out of here. Whoops. Now we've got two boxes of one. That's even worse. Oh, well, not my problem. These guys are literally just dumping everything onto the shelves. I want to watch them work. Are they restocking La Pipitas? No, they're restocking the oil. And now they've got two unevenly sized boxes. That makes sense. I was wondering why that is. I was wondering how they were managing that. Okay, they've got some salmon. Hopefully they're both not doing salmon. No, that guy's doing peanut butter. Excellent. Some nice Norway brand salmon. That's how you know that it is salmon from Norway. It's got Norway written on the front. Uh, we still need dead bees, I think. We don't have any dead bees. We any boxes of dead bees. I'm just going to go ahead and do... Never mind. Looks like someone's beating me to the box of dead bees. That's fine. I don't mind too much. Wait, why did you not restock the second... Oh, I see. They're taking turns. This is horribly inefficient. Okay, are they going to stop? What are you doing? What is that? What is that? Yogurt? Oh, we've got one eggs here. Okay, good. He's probably going to put that back. This is why we are waiting, by the way. This is why we keep waiting... Until these racks hit zero on their little, their little inputs. Because these guys, they both take a box and then they screw up the whole thing repeatedly over and over again. Oh, come on. Just restock the shelves. What are you doing? I beg you. I'm literally begging you. Oh, is this where they start? They better be restocking the shelves. Yes. Finally. Okay. Let's get a good bird's eye view. Finally, they are actually doing as I asked them to, verbally. I know that they are a computer program and they can't actually um, help whatever the algorithm tells them to do, but 
you know, I suppose that's going to be a little bit of foreshadowing for my channel, right? Now that I'm monetized, now I've got a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be basically at the mercy of the algorithm. I mean, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. This feels good, actually. I do like seeing them cl clean up that gigantic mess. Man, I should have just watched these guys clean up all of the other boxes. Oh, no. Someone's holding something, and they've decided that there's too many items. That's not good. That's really bad, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, good. The milk's all restocked. You love to see it. What is he doing? What's he grabbing? Oh, he's grabbing more stuff. What is this? Oil? Yes, sir -y. Great. What else is he going to grab? More oil? Sure as hell, I love it. Look at this. He's actually doing it. This is sweet. I mean, he doesn't have to do all of this. He could just quit his job and not get paid. I wonder if they prioritize kind of like the closest areas. Well, certainly not, actually, because it seems like they're now prioritizing the oil that was closest to them in the first place. They just like tripping over it. In transit. Okay, what's that one going to be? That is good. Okay. Nice! What's this guy holding? This guy's holding a full box of something. Eggs! You've got to be taking the piss. You did not actually put that single egg back on the rack, did you? Surely not. Okay, that's full. Oops, that's probably not it. That's probably not it. What is this? That was it! What are you guys doing? Okay, you guys put that back on there. I will hold this one single carton of eggs. This thing is cursing us. Actually, I'm just going to throw it up. Boop. Done. All right, so we have finally done another stream. It is all over. Let's end the day. We'll go ahead and save, and then we will save and quit. Okay, piss off is officially closed for business. We'll save the game. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Supermarket Simulator that I have made. Right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!